what's the cheapest lightsaber that you should buy? So that depends on several different factors. Now, first of all, if we're going really cheap, you guys, like just a few bucks to maybe 10, 20, 30 bucks, there are a lot of kind of fun um, lightsaber toys out there or lightsaber-like toys out there. So here's a space sword from Walmart and lights up, makes sound. It's a cheap toy, but it's a lot of fun and it's just a few bucks. So just about any budget could, could accommodate something like that. Hasbro also makes a licensed um, lightsaber line called Blade Builders and that's quite popular. So again, if you're looking for pure fun and you just have a few bucks or you know, if you're gearing it more towards kids, you may wanna go that route. Now, moving up the chain a little bit, so if you have a little more money to spend and you want a lightsaber that's a little more substantial or you know metal more realistic, a lot of the YDD sabers are quite popular because they're inexpensive sound sabers. So this is a cross guard saber and I got this from Patch Store, but a lot of other manufacturers will sell this as well. So it's a little more realistic. It's a little more realistic, but it's still, depending on who you buy it from, this can be maybe around $100 or sometimes you know, $150 or $200, it really depends. And YDD Sabre makes an even cheaper model, which is basically the same as this except without the cross guard. And that is known as the Tiny Giant Kyojin from Patch Store or Sabre Forge sells it as um, Youngling Saber <laughs> and a lot of other retailers will sell it as well and it's kind of widely known as a very affordable sound saber. Now one of the problems with these type of sabers, now they're great, they have a lot of features kind of packed into it for the money, but when they break they're just gone because you can't access the battery pack and that's one of the main critiques of these types of lightsabers. So. Definitely keep that in mind. To some extent, you're going to get what you pay for, but on the other hand, you have a lot of features packed into these inexpensive lightsaber hilts, <clears throat> excuse me, based on you know what you're paying for it. Now, finally, another inexpensive option people will often talk about is Ultra Sabers. So Ultra Sabers has some very inexpensive stunt sabers, which means they don't have any sound, but you can get a stunt saber from them for, you know, 60 bucks or, you know, well, under 100 bucks anyway, uh, depending on what you want to get. And some of these, these sabers that are under $100, they're a little more bland in design, but they still might be a relatively decent starter saber. So some people, you know, think it would be better if you'd kind of opt for an Ultra Sabers lightsaber rather than kind of these cheaper lightsabers. Or, you know, even if like your choice is between spending like, 70 bucks on a stunt saber from alt sabers versus um, you know like 70 bucks from a ydd saber you know some people think it's maybe better in the long run to get something like an ultra sabers but it all really depends on what you're looking for you guys any one of these sabers could be a good fit for a certain person um but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this too. I just wanted to cover some of the kind of broad strokes of this discussion and you guys take it from here.